Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. We have an amazing show for everybody today. What do we have, Crystal? Indeed, we've got Ryan Grimm to break down whatever is happening <laughs> in Iowa today. He's yeah. been all over it, of course. We've got Hill Editor-in-Chief Bob Cusack, and we also have Robbie Suave from yes. Reason Magazine. That'll be an interesting conversation about the future of the right, how yes. he sees Trump running against Bernie versus how Sagar does and how I do. So we will get into all of that. Um, but this morning, break this morning. That's there right. are calls from surprising places, actually, for DNC Chair Tom Perez to step down. Yes, yeah, so this broke this morning in Politico. Representative Marsha Fudge and a lot of other state party officials feel that Tom Perez is deflecting all of the blame down to Troy Price. He's the chairman of the Iowa Democratic Party. And there's actually more growing calls, public calls, for Tom Perez to step down than for Troy Price to step down, because there's a lot of questions about the DNC's handling of this entire episode. And Crystal, I mean, I know you're going to go into this a little bit later, but it's very important to understand the chain of events which led to Tom Perez saying he was demanding, quote, a re-canvas, right. right? It very it turns out that a lot of it had to do with some sniping from Pete Buttigieg yep. and concerns about that. Not many of the concerns that were raised by the Andrew Yang campaign, by the Bernie Sanders campaign, by a lot of people who who are tracking this thing. I mean, I am seeing people are tagging me in tweets from people who are on the ground who are like, this is just not right. Like, people, I was the precinct captain. We had this many people. There's only this many votes recorded. It's right. just straight up it's incorrect. Inaccurate. Right. And yeah. so that was clear, like, instantly yeah, like, that this was a mess. 14 hours ago, right. And so, so telling that he lets all of that unfold, yeah. doesn't say a word. Yeah. And then the moment Pete calls to complain oh. because he doesn't like that the satellite caucuses of exactly the kind of new immigrant diverse um, voters that the Democratic Party is supposed to care so much about, once those started getting counted and Bernie Sanders started coming up in the rankings, that's when Tom Perez said, oh, hold on, hold yeah, the phones right. here. Um, I, look, I think the bottom line is also that um, there are indications that the DNC basically forced the Iowa Democratic Party to use this app maker. So right. their hands and their fingerprints are all over this process from top to bottom, and there is zero right. trust and accountability. between the Sanders wing of the party, the activist, young activist base of the party and working class base of the party and Tom Perez. So if he wants for the good of the party, all the unity that they all talk about, he should resign. He yeah. should step aside. That is the only way that you might have a chance of rebuilding some trust in this process. Yeah, I mean, and we had your friend Nomiki Konst on here. She did a great job of breaking down the chairmans of the different committees at the DNC. And I am increasingly thinking that, I mean, there's, I think Nate Silver puts it around a 30% prediction. I think that's probably right, a one in three chance that we could go into a contested convention where nobody has enough delegates. And that is when party infrastructure matters more than anything, yeah. right? We can't, you people can't sleep on this, yeah. right? Like we have, like we're looking at this, Tom Perez apparently only gave Troy Price a one minute heads up. And here's the best part on the whole re-canvas thing. He can't even demand a re-canvas. It has to be the candidates, the candidates themselves. So it was all just this performative thing, the DNC stepping in on behalf of Pete. Again, we do not know who won the Iowa caucuses. There are so many inconsistencies in this. The official, I guess, 100% count had it so close it was like within one tenth of one percent on the state delegates yeah. the popular vote seems pretty clear but so again i mean i think the whole thing is just a, a, a complete mess and how do you have four years to prepare for this everybody knew bernie sanders is going to run for president yeah and you didn't prepare you ready Come for this. On. i know and so at the same time there's like media failures also oh gosh abounding yeah. so yeah. they let pete you know with zero percent of the results and declare himself the mm -hmm. victor and then they let the iowa democratic party basically declare Clear him the victor again with a, with 60 some percent of the vote total in, and now they've got 100 percent out. Every major news outlet acknowledges that there are serious errors, inconsistencies, inaccuracies in this result. Like, that's not a question. The New York Times has said it. NBC News has said it. Yeah. AP has said they're not going to call a winner because it's so, the data is so wrong. Mm -hmm. And yet CNN last night, when they have Pete Buttigieg on for his town hall, they basically declare him the winner based on data that, again, their own reporting says yeah. is incorrect. Let's take a listen. Iowa Democratic Party just released the final batch of results from the caucuses. 100% of precincts reporting. You are holding a narrow lead of a tenth of a percentage point over Senator Sanders on the state delegate equivalence, which is the uh, metric that we use to determine a winner. What is your reaction? 
Well, it's fantastic news uh, to hear that we won. I mean, you know it's wrong. <laughs> like, how? Yeah. I mean, it's so irresponsible, especially for a network that has spent the past several years bemoaning the, the undermining Russia, democratic right. Who's done more to fan the Russian conspiracy more than CNN and Chris Cuomo? Nobody has. Right. And, these, with this, and by using yeah. these results, when it's so close, that they themselves say are wrong, and using that to declare Pete the victor, that undermines democracy in a greater extent than any, like, Russian plot right. ever. Could. And you know what's interesting? I never realized how much Pete fever there was amongst the young, moneyed, neoliberal class, right? So, like, when we're learning about the Shadow Inc. and all these DNC officials and all that, they're all Pete supporters, yeah. it turns out. Yeah. I had no I, I actually didn't know. Class. All the whole young consulting class probably went to school with him, number one. But number two, they love this guy. And so I'm like, okay, so all the people with the Democratic Party uh, in the upper echelons of the professional Democratic party involved in the apps involved in the accounting involved in the chairman involved in the banking are all behind this small town do nothing former mayor it's uh, <laughs> incredible to me right yeah. and i'm like well yeah the th you know thumbs are on the scale institutions matter that's right. one of the most important things well and and look we're going to cover this uh more extensively in the show there's new polling out and he's benefiting disproportionately from it i mean yeah, oh, even absolutely. though bernie sanders clearly won the popular vote you know, very unclear who won the stupid state delegate equivalents, whatever that even is. Um, and yet, because of the way the media portrayed this all, Pete is getting the bump and Bernie is basically flat. So yeah. Pete is very much now in position to potentially win New Certainly. Hampshire. He absolutely could win New Hampshire. Um, so we have another important thing we have to tell everybody about today. That's today right. is the last day to pre-order the book and get your thank you video, which we are working on. <laughs> but they are going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a long time. So if you right. pre-order today, send your receipt to crystalandsager at gmail.com, and we will make you a thank you video eventually. It yes, just will I take a little bit of time. It is coming. Rising.substack.com, as you saw right there, you can go there. All the details. Also, we're doing a DC show, a lot of different shows. All that information, you can see it there. Send us an email. Make us suffer. Indeed. All right. And we're going to tell you what's on our radars. That's next.